Hi, I'm Bill Robinson. I'm here with the Harris Pyrethroid Resistant Bed Bug and Egg Killer. I'm going to review with you how to best use this spray. I'll review with you application tips, safety, and how to use this product with other bed bug killers. This formulation is commonly used by pest management professionals and does an excellent job. In pockets scattered throughout the United States, bed bugs exist that have built up a resistance to traditional pyrethroid insecticides. Our black label bed bug spray was designed to kill these bugs and their eggs. Unfortunately, it's very hard to identify up front whether or not you are dealing with a pyrethroid resistant strain. Their appearance is the same as a normal bed bug. They just have some additional body armor. Before spraying any insecticide, remember to remove clutter from the area. Then wash and heat dry bed linens and furniture covers. Next, remove the box spring and mattress and vacuum thoroughly. Now let's focus on using the spray. Remove the cap and connect the included trigger sprayer. One important note about the sprayer, make sure to turn the spray nozzle to the off position when not in use. Otherwise, liquid will siphon out and leak. Once the sprayer is connected, treat common areas where bed bugs may be hiding, including bed frames, box springs, mattress seams, baseboard, and behind headboards. Here's a diagram of commonly treatable areas. When spraying, be careful not to over apply. You can twist the sprayer tip to adjust the spray pattern. Spray from a distance of 8 to 10 inches until the surface is slightly damp. Do not allow children or pets to enter the area until the spray has completely dried. Also, do not apply any type of powder or insecticide until the liquid is 100% dry. Repeat treatments may be necessary to kill bed bugs that were not killed during the first treatment. I would recommend using this spray in combination with diatomaceous earth and silica, but wait till the spray is dry before you use the powder. The key is to be persistent. Entire bed bug infestations are not eliminated overnight. Finally, I'll finish with the most commonly asked questions we get about this product. The first thing people want to know is whether or not this product kills bed bugs on contact. It does. This product will kill bed bugs on contact and will provide a residual that continues to kill. The length of the residual will depend on the surface type, with harder surfaces carrying a longer residual. The second most common question is whether this product kills bed bug eggs. The answer here is yes, and we addressed it earlier. It has been tested, and the results confirm that it does a fantastic job in eliminating bed bug eggs and nymphs. The third most common question is whether this product can be used in homes with children and pets. The answer is yes, but you must allow the spray to dry 100% before allowing children, pets, or other people to re-enter the area. I hope this video helps. If you have any other questions, go to pfharris.com and click on Contact Bill.